Hi, this is Joe Kyle with Team 24-7 Realtors at Murney here with 100 Seconds of Real Estate. My 100 Seconds begins now. If you're a peasant like me, you're probably not going to pay cash for your home. So the first thing I'd recommend as a buyer is to go talk to a lender. You'll know how much house you can afford and your lender can provide you with a pre-approval letter that we'll provide to sellers when we write an offer. After scouring the dark recesses of the MLS, Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com, Craigslist, and the rest of their ilk, we'll finally find your dream home. The next step is to put in an offer, and this may result in a series of counter offers until we come to an agreement on price. Some other things that can be negotiated for at this stage of the process are payment of closing costs, home warranties, and inclusions of items such as refrigerators, washers, dryers, cats, and children. Just kidding, nobody wants cats. So now we've come to an agreement with the seller and your dream home is under contract. The next stage of the process is what I like to call the gauntlet. If you're a savvy buyer or have a savvy agent, you'll know that you should have a home inspection performed. Based upon this inspection, you can ask the sellers to repair the major issues that we in the biz refer to as material defects. Material defects are those issues that are not immediately apparent to a buyer that may have a significant impact on the home, such as foundation cracks, termite activity, plumbing issues, hippie infestations. If your deal is going to fall apart, this is the stage where it's most likely to happen, which is why it's so important to have an experienced, savvy, good-looking agent who can guide you through this difficult process. Once you and the sellers have come to an agreement as to what will and will not be repaired, you can maybe start to enumerate your unhatched poultry. Assuming your financing goes through without a hedge, it's onto the closing table with you. At closing, you'll sign a mountain of paperwork after which your numbed, carpal tunneled hand will stretch out to gratefully receive the keys to your new dream home. And that's the buyer process. Thanks for watching 100 Seconds of Real Estate. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me by any of the methods listed below. And if you have any topic suggestions for 100 Seconds of Real Estate, please comment below. 